Hey, what's up everyone? One Tech Traveler checking in here in Aura, Malta. I want to talk through some of the ways how you can travel around Malta. It's a very accessible and easy place that's both tourist friendly, family friendly and even elderly friendly. So if you're thinking of coming here, here are some of the types of passes and cards that gives you the best value and most options of how you like to explore. Okay, so I'm right here in Malta, Aura Beach, and been traveling pretty much for the last week or so, exploring a few places. Malta is a very small island, and actually public transport is very good here. The buses themselves are very spacious to accommodate lots of people, elderly people, family. So you really don't have to worry too much about that, and it's something that I appreciate. They have a timetable that runs until the night, and even have a night shows for those if you are looking to move to different places. I found the public bus tickets to be very reasonable uh, at the moment for an adult single ticket you are looking at one euro fifty in the non summertime summertime it goes up to two euros per journey and then night service is a flat three euros throughout the year now there's some good things about that with the 150 uh, single ticket you can actually use that for as many times within the two hours if you are making an interchange or if you are fast hopping between different places you can go to any parts within that one euro fifty i even have the uh, ticket here's an example of one of the tickets that i had when i first came here so you can see what it looks like and it actually gives you the time and says how long you can use it until which is there and then you just scan it. So there's no concept of like a return ticket. You simply just get the single ticket if that suits you and you can use it as much times in the two hours. And if you're doing one way and back, then you only have that one price to pay. In the summer when it gets a lot busier, then that goes up to two euros. Right now it's very quiet and actually it's a great time to go. It's not too hot. So besides the standard single ticket option, then we have a few others. One is the Explore card and Explore Plus card. In essence, both of them allow you a whole week of unlimited travel on the buses that includes bus travel within the main island as well as Gozo. The only difference with the Explore Plus card is a bit more expensive, but also includes the hop on hop off bus tour that takes you around Malta, or you can alternatively take the uh, ferry to Comino, or includes a two ferry rides around Valletta. In terms of bus coverage, it costs exactly the same and you really don't have to worry about how much cash you have to take. Change can be a bit hit and miss. They're quite lenient, so they will have some change available, but anything that's too large, then expect that they will refuse it. So just for convenience, having these cards are already a no-brainer. In terms of price, the Explore ticket currently is 21 euros. And if you split that over the week, it becomes very reasonable and good value. So if you like to travel a lot, then that's the one to go for. And if you want those additional uh, admissions, then the Explore Plus card is 39 euros. So for the Explore card, adults are 21 euros and child is 15 euros but there's only one pricing on the Explore Plus card. Now one of the other types of cards, again all of these are just per person, but if you're going either as a couple, solo but only have a few travel destinations you want to hit, or even a family, then you might want to consider the 12 Simple Journey card. Now that one's only 15 euros, but that can actually be shared amongst the group of you. You have 12 single ticket trips that you can use. And again, if you go within two hours, then it doesn't use an additional one. So for example, there's, so for example, if there's a group of three and we are going to Valletta or Silema, it doesn't matter how far you go, it's just how many trips. And there's three of us and we're going to one destination, then I tap it three times. On the counter, it will show you how many trips you have left. So you can plan if it's for three people over 12 tickets, then we can go there and back to two different destinations if we are using every single ticket. It works out about three euros cheaper if you have to pay one euro 50 every time. And another option, whether you're a Maltese e-card holder or you are visiting and like to plan in advance, then you can get the Tilinja card 
Uh, this one is kind of like your personalized one so you do have to register online there's a registration fee of 10 euros and you have to upload a photo and a copy of your documents whether that's a passport or driving license it can take up to two weeks and i think it can either be sent to you or available here for you to pick up that makes the fees per ticket significantly reduced for adults it's just 75 cents so if you like to plan in advance have a bit of time in your hands and want to make each trip then register for the Tilinja card I'll put the links down below bear in mind there is a minimum top up of 20 euros but you can use that same card with you and if you plan to come back again then it's a great value-added way of doing it Whew. okay so where can you buy these bus cards so actually the best places to buy it are in any of the bus terminals dotted around Malta wherever you're staying there's always a lot of bus terminals where the buses depart from and arrive to you can simply go to the customer information center so you can buy any of the cards there if not I put a link into the description down below of the official Malta website where you can buy from certified places that do sell these cards with their convenience stores uh, shops whether using euros or a travel card or just any debit credit card if you decide to uh, pay with that they accept it all there and you just simply tap it the cars themselves look like this so this is the 12 simply journey and it has the euros pricing on there very simple but very effective to use but honestly it will save you a lot of time having to look for all your different euros and cards and coins uh, and it makes that part traveling so much more seamless Malta is already quite an easy place to explore but the buses make it even easier so honestly you get one of these cards you don't have to worry at all you can find a detailed written breakdown on my website at onetechtraveler.com alternatively all of the links to the different cards that i talked about today for getting the bus in malta in the links down below be sure to subscribe to my channel to see more awesome videos like this one to help you travel smart live smart thanks a lot i'll see you in the next video but until then keep being awesome